Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's a beautiful start to our day out there. Beautiful, clear skies. We're seeing a beautiful sunrise out there. I know I keep using the word beautiful, but that's really just the best way to describe it. We're seeing a little bit of extra color out on the horizon, and we're just a, a few minutes off from that sunrise, just a, a less than 10 minutes out there. Here's that look out towards New Bedford. You can see a little bit of orange out on the horizon. Same for Newport. A couple of clouds a little bit further away from our area, but overall just a nice, clear start to your day. So what are we tracking Well, we have two features that we're dealing with for today. We have some high pressure sitting further to our south. It's kind of attached to a little bit of some shower activity for portions of the southeast United States. Good news is that'll be staying to the south, so it's going to help keep us clear. We're going to see some sunshine throughout the majority of the day today, but it's also going to continue to keep that wind direction out of the west, which means warmer air moving into our region. The second feature we're keeping an eye on it's going to be this cold front that's still sitting a little bit further off to the north and in the west. That'll be moving through overnight tonight. It's going to give us a tiny chance for some quick little snow flurries after about midnight tonight. But more importantly, it's going to usher in some much colder air for the start of our work week. If we take a little bit of a close or closer look back home, you can see clear skies throughout most of our area. A little bit of some snow shower activity up across portions of upstate New York. But most of uh, New England is staying pretty clear and dry out there for the start of the day. Temperatures right now slightly warmer than yesterday, closer towards what we're used to for this time of year. You're looking at about 17 degrees for Smithfield, 25 for Westerly, 20 degrees for Providence, Newport sitting at 24 degrees, New Bedford sitting at 18. So still chilly out there, but again, closer to what we're used to as we look forward to the first half of the day today. Lots of sunshine, a couple of scattered clouds will start to pop up during the late morning and into the afternoon. Those temperatures will be uh, already back up into the 30s by about 10 a.m. So already a, a quicker warm up than what we saw for yesterday. As we look at your overall forecast, we're going to be topping out closer to the 40s. That's near normal for this time of year. So all in all for today, just more seasonable compared to those cooler temperatures that we've been seeing for the past few days. That being said, though, feel like temperature, that's going to be another story. We're still going to be very breezy throughout the day today. Wind gust upwards of about 20, maybe 30 miles per hour in the middle part of the afternoon. So those feel like temperatures, those are still going to be closer to that 30 degree mark. Hour by hour forecast as we head forward to overnight tonight is when we see that cold front clear our area. We'll be seeing a chance uh, for a couple of quick little flurries here or there. Again, it's going to be really spotty activity, mostly just a couple of clouds rolling in. So really pretty much dry out there. Not much of the area is going to see any activity at all. And as we look forward to tomorrow, lots of sunshine out there. A quiet but cold start to your week. If we check out this afternoon, again, those temperatures topping out near the 40s. So it'll be a little bit more comfortable out there right along the coast Narragansett 40 degrees uh, 39 for Boroughville and Situate Providence looking at 41 degrees and then as we look a little bit further off to the east you're going to see Fall River 40 degrees New Bedford looking at about 41 looking at that seven day forecast overall this week we're staying kind of below normal with those temperatures Wednesday will be our hot spot but even then not too far off than what we're used to you can head over to WPRI.com we've got that full seven day forecast you can check it out anytime you like all right thanks Brittany